Huawei has grown from being a peripheral player to one of the biggest brands in smartphones in a short space of time. It started making a name for itself with competitive devices for good prices. These handsets often copycatted features from other flagships, but things have changed in recent history. Huawei is no longer an alternative to the bigger companies, it's become one of those companies. It's now the one bringing new features to market and pushing the boundaries with phones like the P20 Pro. That thing only came out six months ago, and Huawei's already back with the Mate 20 Pro, which feels like a successor despite the different family name. It's another nuts piece of hardware from the Chinese company, and arguably the best phone of 2018. There's no such thing as the perfect smartphone, but the Mate 20 Pro is arguably as close as you can get right now. The Huawei device is unmatched in camera versatility, and on top of that it has every premium feature imaginable, like an in-screen fingerprint reader and the ability to wirelessly charge other phones. The Mate 20 Pro doesn't come cheap, but it's worth it. Let's get the dream dashing out of the way because the Mate 20 Pro won't officially be launching in the US. You can undoubtedly find it online alongside the more affordable Mate 20 and supersized Mate 20 X, but if you're treading that path, make sure to check network compatibility carefully and be prepared to pay over the odds for an import. Huawei's had a frosty relationship with the US for a while now, carrier partnerships are non-existent, fueled by the government's suspicious attitude towards the Chinese manufacturer. Long story short, the Mate 20 Pro is not headed where it's not welcome. Take a blind feel of the Mate 20 Pro and you might as well be handling a Galaxy S9 or a Note 9. Originality isn't really necessary here, though. Samsung's preferred contouring, curved sides on both the front and back with a super skinny frame separating them, is just plain comfortable. Much more so than boxier handsets like the Pixel 3 XL. Because the vast majority of the Mate 20 Pro curves one way or another, there are no straight edges putting pressure on your palm or fingers and reminding you it's actually a pretty big phone. The slim body and lack of bezels also keep the device manageable despite the large screen. Thanks to the display's 19.5, 9 aspect ratio, the phone's tall but not broad enough to feel cumbersome. It's still much easier to use with two hands than one, though.